A big fire erupted at the Nembe Boni Bele jetty in Port Harcourt barely 24 hours after an explosion rocked an illegal oil dump site in Rumukuru in River State. The jet inferno killed a number of people, including children and women, and burnt about seven dugout boats. Details in this report. The River State Police Command has confirmed the death of four persons after seven wooden boats loaded with petroleum products and fish caught fire at the Nembe Bile Boni Jetty Water Site in Port Harcourt. The spokesperson of the River State Police Command, Namdi Omoni, says investigation is still ongoing to know the cause of the fire. There are seven boats caught fire. The, the boats were carrying petroleum products, kerosene, and then fish. The, the seven boats caught fire and um, some persons were feared dead. At the end of it all, it was discovered that um, we recovered four human skulls. We are recovered burnt beyond recognition, of course. Eyewitnesses at the jetty alleged that the fire was started by a cigarette, which a man suspected to be a loader on one of the boats was smoking. And when we investigated, we found out that it was as a result of an ignition. Somebody trying to start his engine and then um, got ignited. And that was how we saw it. This profile of fuel and uh, kerosene, they were offloading. I was told by a reasonable person in the boat that uh, somebody was smoking. Two reliable information, one was pumping medicine as they were starting an exploded fire. That was the cause of the incident that causes the death of some people in the boat right now. The jetty fire is coming a day after another one at an illegal oil dump site in Rumokoro. The River State Commissioner for Special Duties, Emeka Onu, has been to the site of the first inferno, which he has blamed on community leaders who failed to speak up about an alleged illegal refining business. The center is covering here, bank is taking this side, and then the bunker is going on here. Imagine what is happening here at the back. These are rubber tanks filled with crude oils. And the question you should be asking yourself, who is the owner of this land, one? Is the CDC chairman or the community leaders not aware of this business going on? Why haven't you raised alarm? You will not raise alarm because you are benefiting from it. The jetty fire is a third in Port Harcourt in the last 72 hours. The first incident was at the Dillon area of the state. The second was at Rumokoro. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.